Hello, and welcome to Fields and Skylines. Let's play Farm and Sun Later 22 White Farms. It is September, and I'm harvesting potatoes. That is right, I said I would never ever harvest potatoes again, but here I am harvesting potatoes. Why? Why am I doing this? Well, first off, I was curious about the kit that we got in this contract. We got this potato harvester I've never seen before. And so I did some research on it. And if we take a look here, um, it is found under vegetable technology. Nope, it's found under uh, potato technology. Where did I find it? Harvesters? No, it was under miscellaneous. Where did I find this thing? Huh, 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 huh. I will find it. Here, oh yeah, that's right, it was under beets. It was under beet technology. It's called Homer. Homer. Uh, Terra DOS T440 Multi Harvester. And as you can see, it can harvest everything. And it does it at a fairly fast speed. Um. Its top speed is 37 miles an hour. I think we are at the 60k capacity, I'm pretty sure. And if we look at the heads, it gave us this all-in-one uh, multi-header right here that goes 12 miles an hour, um, which is way faster than what a normal potato harvester does. So I'm like, hey, twice as fast holds a ton. We got a cool auger trailer to tip these things in. So I said 13 grand, we want to buy that field here. It's close to October our deadline. We had a great milk sale, great egg sale. As you can see, we're at $283,000. Um, we did pay off 10000 of our loan this month already. Uh, so we want to get this piece of land right here. It costs 275000 We have enough for it. Um, so we'll be able to buy it here in October. We'll be able to mow it in October. Um, we might buy it this month just so we can throw some fertilizer on it and try to get it a little bit better environmental score. Throw some lime, some fertilizer, see if we can't get that up before we harvest it next month. Um, when we do all of our grass work next month. Also this month though, before we get ahead of ourselves after we're done with this potato harvest, I still think it'll take a little bit of time, but all in all, it'll be a lot faster than the last time I did a potato harvest. And honestly, this machine makes root clots probably a little bit more bearable because um, it's faster, it holds quite a bit, it's reasonably priced, so if we were to get into root crops ever in any of our playthroughs, this might be the way to go. The other thing is, um, I fed the cows, I fed um, the chickens, sold the eggs, sold the milk, like I said. We had a good amount of milk to sell, 8,000, over eight, we had about 10,000 liters of milk, which is our best milk production yet. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at our animals. So as you can see, they're all growing up pretty good. Oh, we have baby pigs. Let's check this out. Overnight, we had some baby pigs. So we're up to nine pigs, and you're saying, oh my goodness, getting pigs is going to take forever. Well, the next time we have babies in approximately um, let's see, we have, these are nine months old, so we had our babies at nine. So the next time we have pigs, we'll have six babies, pigs, and then the next time we'll have nine babies, and then the next time we'll have like 18, and so like it just is a multiplier, and it's going to, I know it, it takes time, but it, it grows really, really fast. So at some point, that'll be a, a nice income for us. Take a look at our productions here. Um Strawberry jam. I'm going to run this until we are storing 
uh, our storing is full, and then I'll turn it off, and that is what we will be selling. And let's go back up to our land. So we, we are talking about, I said we want to buy this piece here, right here. Um, and what that will be able to do is it will allow us to take this strip of grass and plow it together with 17 and we'll be able to plant corn and all of that which is a huge amount and then what i'm thinking is 15 will become sunflowers and maybe maybe we'll even have enough to buy 16 um, when we're done doing this harvest plus selling our you know strawberries and stuff in a couple months and whatnot I don't know, it all depends on what they put in 16. Again, but all in all, I think A, doing this contract will help us get over that hump. Like we have enough to buy it and we will buy it this month just so we can work it, get the line and fertilizer on it before we mow it next month. Um, and all that extra silage and hay that we're gonna get, we'll be able to sell off a bunch of that too, which will put us in a really good position to start the next year off if we want to get this field and combine it with the one next to it and turn it into uh, our fourth big field. And we would then have barley and corn, some really big fields, and then our two mid-sized fields would be like soybean, sunflowers, or sorghum, or like whatever we want to grow, whatever we feel we need to have to grow. You know, if we need a little extra straw, maybe we throw oats out there. If, um, you know, if we want to go down a different road, we could, right? We could always change things up. It gives us a lot of options. And I think that is what we've been trying to play for is to get to a point where this farm, you know, is making good money, doesn't have to worry too much. It's expanding at a rate um, it can handle. But with the expansions and all of these larger fields, it's going to require us probably to need some larger kit. Um, at the very least, if we do that big corn field, we're probably going to want to get a little bit bigger of a corn header that has a cost. We're going to want to get um, maybe even a larger harvester. Definitely want to get a larger tractor. So with this expansion, we may need a larger mower bigger tether I don't know you know we're, we're gonna need to start thinking about some of our equipment which was great for us when the farm was was a little smaller but as we grow we're gonna have to start swapping in some bigger kit as well and that's some of the challenges that we will definitely need before we end this playthrough um, this let's play on this field on this map so stick with me still have a lot of places we can go on this farm and I'm loving, I'm loving where we're getting to. So what I think we're gonna do is I am going to hit a quick time lapse as we harvest this field. Um, I don't know, I might even do some jump cuts because I don't know how long it's gonna take, but we do have, like I said, we got a seed, we got a plant, our barley this month and we have to roll and fertilize those fields. I don't know if I have to show necessarily the rolling or the fertilizing, but I do want to show some of the, the, this plant. Uh, this, this potato harvest was unexpected. I thought I would jump in here because it was working out pretty good just to show this off. This is something I definitely don't do every day to win my playthroughs is the crops of any kind, just because they're kind of a pain. But this kit is making it go away quicker and way more fun. So. I am going to jump into a time lapse here, um, and then I'll join you once I have this, this harvest complete. See you in a bit.
All right. So we are done with the potato harvest. That wasn't too bad at all. Uh, in fact, I am pondering in my head the possibility of doing something crazy and leasing out that equipment and seeing if I can't do the, uh, the carrot harps with that equipment. Uh, wouldn't make nearly as much money, though. Uh, 24000 is what that's paying. And to lease out the equipment would be at least 10000 and then every hour at 4500 So if it took me two hours to do this harvest, um, that'd be, you know, almost $15,000 in cost. So that price comes down quite a bit. And field nine is where? Seven, eight, It's pretty big. It's a pretty big field to be doing a harvest in. So I don't know if the profit is quite there yet. Um, so yeah, so I don't know if this is something I want to try yet. But yep, we uh, we got it done. And it wasn't wasn't too bad at all. So, but what we really need to do today is get this barley in the ground, get it rolled and fertilized. So, we are going to start the process here. Lower. Uh, I have it on barley. I think. Let me turn this off. It says barley, so we're good to go. Let me. Oh. There we go. And we're ready to go. Does not look like we are planting anything. Because we have two over. There we go. All right, the big barley plant is on in our two fields. This will get us hopefully enough barley that can feed all of our chicken. Um, I think we'll have, what, 720 chicken laying eggs for us every month, which will be nice. And they need barley. And this is our barley. We can always buy, you know, top off from the store, but that cuts into profits. So I'm gonna be careful with that. As you can see also, we have just under $300,000. When we are done planting this field, that'll even be lower because we'll probably have to refill seed. We'll be hiring a worker at some point, I'm sure, to uh, do some of this work. Um, so I still think that we will have enough to buy the uh, big field over there and to take care of it with lime and fertilizer. This field, we'll need to lease a roller and we'll need to roll this field and also we'll need to um, fertilize this field. Next month, we'll have to put down herbicide. Nice thing though is with like fertilizer and herbicide. We don't need to pay for that. We have it. We're making it. We made it with our production out of our spare manure and spare slurry. So that's a plus on our side. But we don't have to pay for that type of stuff anymore other than the cost of running the production to do it. So that is a great savings to us. I don't know what else. Did I recap everything pretty much? Like I said, we need larger kit. Um, so 
once I get this headlands, these headlands done, I will get a worker set off, and we can go through some menus and stuff to talk about some of the types of kit we're gonna need to get larger. But all in all, I think this has been quite the interesting episode. When I woke up today, I said, you know what, I gotta do a white farm episode. And I knew I had to do the barley. I didn't, for the life of me, never thought that I would be, um, never thought I would be planting, or I never thought I would be doing a potato harvest to start off the episode. So, it's interesting how things change on the farm. Now, I know this texture doesn't look like the proper texture it's because the game gets confused um, and you have a mixed plowed and uh, not plowed just cultivating planter so it happens I think we're still good it's still dropping seed out uh, so all in all I think we're in, we're doing all right still no need to worry yet I hope I just want to do probably three headlands um That usually gives the worker enough room to get the job done fairly, fairly easy. And really the headlands on the sides aren't that big of a deal, especially with this field, because there is, um, now that it's combined with that other small field, it, we don't have the risk of it plowing over, you know, another field by mistake. It's just giving it headlands on the bottom so that it's easier for it to, to turn. It doesn't have to do weird Y turns or anything like that to get the job done. So I can start talking about those some of the kit. Like, like I mentioned, we need definitely are going to need another larger tractor. Um, we might have to upgrade our cedar again to another size larger we probably could look at a new harvester uh, definitely probably want to think about upgrading our two headers uh, I don't know because that case is kind of the base game I don't know what's out there for it that we could just stick on it and have it work so um, we'll take a look at that here shortly. I think though, for all intensive purposes, um, get this going a little straight. Yeah, I think we're in good shape. All right, let's go ahead and set up a worker and let's take a look here at start with the harvester so we have this case um, 10,000 it holds a, it's, it holds a good amount um, to get something a little larger you know we would have to invest quite a bit of money just to move up a little bit I think this is the one we have let's double check and see which one we have 71.50. Yep. So let's go ahead. You know, and it's worth 25 grand. So we don't have the money to. Um, we really don't have the money to do a new combine. So. The good thing is, um, there is a couple headers here. Um, let's 
Sunflower header. So we could upgrade our header a little bit. Let's take a look at the header we have. So we have a 7.5 meter. That might be the larger of the two already. Seven point five. Well, there is this eight point five, so we could go another meter bigger for forty eight thousand, and then that would help us with. And then there's this third one, but I don't think this one fits on our current combine. And then there's this final one. I would have to test out and see if this would fit even on our combine. I don't think our combine can manage that. Yeah, it's only for the big the bigger combine. So that is probably it. We can go up one meter bigger um, on the combine. If we go into the corn headers, I think this is the one we have. Well, let's take a look. Let's not assume. No, we got the Capello, six meter. So let's go and find that. So that is this header right here. Um, it looks like there's a nine meter. Although it doesn't show our harvester. And then there's the case six meter. Um, another six meter. Again, it's not showing our harvester on any of these so yeah if we want to upgrade our harvester i think we're going to need to upgrade the harvester so let's take a look um our current harvester is this it's worth 25 grand it looks like to get into The next level up here, it's four thousand four hundred ten thousand five hundred dollars, which is really pricey. But you know, maybe we do some tough harvesting, right? We we use the not so optimal setup until we get the money we need to maybe move up to some of those larger things. So like, if we just move up a combine level, we can definitely improve the barley and field bean, or uh, um, soybean. Harvesting, but not so much the corn harvesting. And really, I think it's the corn harvesting we're going to need. So at the very least, I think we're going to have to hit, oops. Yeah, we're going to have to move up to one of these upper more larger harvesters. which isn't the worst uh, thing to save up for. So that's harvesters. Now let's talk tractors. I think what we want to do is get, um, so this is an American map, American farm. They're probably going to get some sort of John Deere 8 series. Um, this is kind of the workhorse these days. 
or or the ride tractor a case although this here nothing against the other tractors and yes they do have them you know i've seen challengers fence uh, jbc tractors all around by me but most notably see actually sevens eights even um some of the other smaller deers medium mid-sized deers around here but i think what i want to do is i want to shoot for an eight because that just sounds like a really cool tractor um Three hundred twenty horsepower. I think just this base model, U.S. design. Um, I see narrow twins. I've seen. Uh, a lot of corn planters this way because there's room then. I guess you can't just do twins in back. I wouldn't get rid of our other John Deere. I'd probably, you know, probably go like this. Uh, just like this. 3,000, what does it say? 299 so basically three hundred thousand dollars for a new tractor so that's what i've really gone for hopefully one would come up on on the discount or some of the other kit we need comes up on a discount some of the other stuff we need we still need a roller um we'll probably need think about upgrading our mulching to something a little bigger I've used these in the past because it gives you 10 meters. This is a 12 meter. So let's see, 10 meters for 12, 30 grand. Got 8.9 meters. So yeah, so there's some options there. We need a roller. Somewhere in here, there's rollers. You know, 41000 for a roller. Basically, we'll need... Um, so our corn planter we have is... I think we have this one. Again, let's double check. We have the 99.8. which is this guy right here in the middle. Um, I think it's eight meter. I think going up to the 10 meter is one option. Um, there is this 18 meter, but that looks like recrops right here. 18 meters, it plants everything. Um, probably go with this one. This is the more realistic. It's a 12 meter, so that's another jump up 12 meters. And then I think there's a John Deere one. Here's an 18.2 meter that's not a mod, and there's the John Deere one that's the same. That's 17.8 meter. So again, a, a upgraded planter would be 200 and 34,000, or we can do 10 meters, you know, an extra two meters for 45,000. I think this would be the next step up for us would be this one, the 9910. So we have an option there. 
that's another upgrade we will need for basically as our fields grow. And then a mower. So we've been working hard. Our mower works very hard. It does a great job. It also is our mulcher. It is 6.2 meters, which is pretty good. Um, but we can find, obviously, you know, almost 10. Uh, 12. Pottinger's 10. These Kuhn, 8.3. So I think, yeah, we are, we have possibilities to get a little bit bigger than our 6.2 here. And then with everything, let's take a look at the tether. Um, I believe we have, I don't know which tether we have, possibly this one. So our tether is pretty good. It's 8.7 meters. That's pretty good. I don't think we would need to upgrade that perhaps per se. Um, so that is what we have for stuff we need to upgrade. I think we're going to leave the episode um, right here. I've been rambling pretty long um, and we got some clients and you can see the workers having some struggles that will need to be touched up but i'm gonna leave the episode right here thanks thanks for for watching if you if you enjoyed this episode please give it a thumbs up uh comment down below on perhaps some of your favorite tractors and harvesters to use um so i can get some ideas of poss some other possibilities um we know of course of our expansion plans uh, if you're enjoying the content on this channel please subscribe to the channel and as always, thank you for watching. Uh, have yourself a wonderful day. Goodbye.